Welcome back to the project. Well, when you fall pregnant, doctors give you the lowdown on all the things you should and shouldn't do to grow a healthy human. But there's one easily preventable virus they rarely mention and they should because the consequences can be dire for unborn babies. <laughs> Christopher has a smile that lights up a room and can melt the coldest of hearts. Christopher is non-verbal, non-mobile and completely tube-fed. But his communication is all body language and visual cues. I know what the arm flap means, whether that's a happy flap or an uncranky flap. <laughs> Christopher was born with a common viral infection you've probably never heard of, cytomegalovirus, or CMV. We knew nothing about CMV, and it's blown us away with how common it is and how little information is widely known about it. Everything was normal in Pam's pregnancy until the 28-week scan picked up something unusual. At 31 weeks, we got the phone call from the fetal medicine unit at Canberra Hospital. They pretty much said that our baby was not compatible with life. His brain was severely misshapen and underdeveloped. So they actually offered us termination at 31 weeks. But I was kind of like, if, if that's the outcome of this pregnancy, I'm gonna let nature do it. I'm not gonna force its hand. Pam went into labour at 37 weeks. Everyone was very clear that we wouldn't be taking a baby home from the hospital, that we would be saying goodbye to our very wanted and much loved baby. But Christopher had other plans. So he was breathing and he was fighting hard. Um, when he came into this world. To everyone's surprise, Christopher went home after just 19 days in the neonatal intensive care unit. They told us to take him home and love him. And we haven't stopped. CMV is a member of the herpes family. In healthy people, it's usually a harmless viral infection that can cause minor flu-like symptoms. Women at any stage of the pregnancy can contract it. They may not even realise that they're unwell, but unfortunately then transmit it to their baby. Of the 2,000 babies in Australia who are born with CMV each year, 400 will have some form of disability. That could be hearing loss, epilepsy, intellectual disability, cerebral palsy and other issues. The majority will have hearing loss, like 15-month-old Azaria. <laughs> the only real thing that you know, we can confirm is that she's not blind and that she does have hearing loss, so everything else is just a waiting game. In terms of prognosis, they can't give us any answers for intellectual impairments or, or her development. Come on. Despite being the most common infectious cause of disabilities in newborns, CMV is still largely unheard of by pregnant women. <laughs> I had never heard of it before. Still to this day, you know, we go to different appointments and people have never heard of it. So there's an extreme lack of awareness. Only 10% of midwives and obstetricians talk to pregnant women about the virus. We tell them things like, don't eat soft cheese, don't smoke, don't drink, very important messages. It's one more simple message about hygiene. CMV is transmitted through saliva, tears, urine and breast milk. The key to prevention is good hygiene, washing your hands well, avoiding sharing food and drinks and kissing young children on the lips. We need midwives, GPs, obstetricians, all of those people to be on board and recognise that this is a cause worth educating themselves on so that they can in turn educate expecting mums. There's no way to prevent or treat infected unborn babies, but scientists are working on a vaccine for pregnant women. Therapists tell us that children like Christopher reach their peak at seven and then regress at 10. <laughs> but we're gonna keep giving him the opportunities to grow and improve and reach whatever goals or potential he has. I love you. I don't care what that looks like, because he's alive. I get to kiss him goodnight every night, and I get to see his incredible smile when I go in to get him out of bed every morning. I can like see him. Christopher is now seven and soon to be a big brother for the third time. He's just 
defied the odds and beaten any expectation that's ever been placed on him from day one. He's taught us to just be in the moment and take each day as it comes. Because with Christopher, tomorrow might be it. So we just have to enjoy today. Goodness. It's an amazing story, don't you start, Lisa, because we're all go. It's an amazing story. What I love about things like that is...